Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel where we talk all things photography. If you're new around here, thanks for checking it out. If you've subscribed, thank you very much. I will do my best to bring you value and keep this video short. So the thing that I get asked pretty much most of the time, almost on a daily basis, is either how to start your business, but more importantly, how to make money as a photographer. Now, the two go hand in hand, obviously, at this point, the person asking the question has probably been a hobbyist in photography for a while, or sometimes I even get asked this by people who are only just picking up a camera and instantly they wanna make money. For those sort of people, I always say, go and practice your craft first, find your niche, find the thing that you enjoy the most, double down on that and really perfect your craft in that first, or get as close to perfection as you, think you can get before you start trying to earn money from that. So I've got a Q&A coming up that I'm filming for YouTube. I've got some questions collated and I'm just thinking about my answers and how best to answer them to bring the most value to you guys. But when it comes to this question, I thought I could just make a video by itself. Smash this one out, it's very impromptu. I've got a few notes here that I've just scribbled down. So the easiest way I think to make money as a photographer is through Instagram, DM, and DMing influencers to see if they need a photographer either for their blog, their Instagram, or any paid work that they might have that's coming up. Now, I know there's plenty of people on YouTube, Gary Vee especially, saying dive into the DMs, get business through the DMs, uh, speak to people, make connections and everything like that. But there's so many people who still ask me who maybe aren't aware of his content. So I thought I'd put this more practical, photography specific tutorial together to show you exactly how I did it. And I would say probably how I made 30% of my income last year using these techniques. Um, if you follow myself or my girlfriend Helen, you also know that we had a photography studio last year and starting from scratch, we had no money at all. We lived there as well. It was a five by five meter blank space and we decided that we were gonna hire it out to photographers. This is how we did it. We just DM'd every photographer in London, search the London geotag, find a photographer and follow that trail. Their photographer friends, their makeup uh, artist friends, the stylist friends, have they tagged the photographer? Da -da -da -da, their agent, how many photographers are on their agency? All those, hair makeup agencies, everything. Now I've got to say, I've got to be honest, the driving force behind this was Helen. She's a little social media genius. So if you're interested in that whole hustle thing, or if you're by chance a yoga teacher, go and follow her. I'll put a link to her channel there, but also check her out on Instagram because that's where she's most active. So here we go. I'm gonna try and keep this video as super short as possible. So I'm gonna do a screen record and show you how I would do it. What I would do is I would go into search. Now, I'm not gonna use London as an area because that's slightly unfair. Not everyone lives in London. There's a lot of people here and there's so many different bloggers and agencies and everything. There's an abundance of opportunity in this field. So what I would go into, let's pick uh, Newcastle, okay? So I'm gonna just type in Newcastle, why I pit, and go Newcastle upon Tyne here. And so you've got your top posts there. So with the geotag, you wanna be looking for a couple of things. You wanna be someone, you wanna be looking for someone who's probably like interested in blogging or vlogging, who puts time and consideration into their account. Also, large following is not key. Uh, sometimes I've got work just by DMing people with only a couple of thousand followers. And uh, sometimes if their following is way too high, um, your DM can get totally lost because probably their engagement's really high and your DM is just getting lost in there. Sometimes I even get replies six months later, people saying, sorry, I didn't see this at the time. But anyway, I would look at the top posts and I would see if there is anyone here who looks like a blogger or a vlogger and potentially does professional photo shoots. So the one that stands out is the middle there in the, in the bottom row. Um, yeah, excited to announce I'm represented by Time Lost. So, okay, so this is a model, okay? So it's perfect. She'll be looking for shoots, obviously. Um, engagement is high, uh, 26 comments. Okay, great. She's a model, she's big on Instagram. She's probably gonna be doing paid content at some point. So let's check out her account. 
Zara Holland, 311,000. Love and Life, Represent by Time Novels, Fashion Boutique, Mimi Boutique Limited. So, um, it would be worth dropping a DM to this person <laughs> to be like, hey, if you need a photographer, here's my work, blah, blah, blah. It'd be great if you need someone for your portfolio or anything like that. I'll get into that in a second. However, it looks like from her pictures that actually most of the time it's just selfies or iPhone photography. So, you know, if she's doing paid content, she's just getting someone to grab her phone and do it like that. So it might not be the best option. So let's go back into the search here and go back to Newcastle upon time. Okay, so we'll scroll through the recent, and this might take a little bit of time. Here's someone, ba bam, aspiring DJ. Yes, perfect. Okay, Dana Elizabeth G, uh, aspiring DJ, freelance model. There we go. Insta influencer. There we go. Uh, tattoos, piercings, she's got her Facebook page there. She's not got a huge following, she's got almost 4,000. Um, but if you scroll down, you can see that she has done professional uh, photo shoots before. So, all good signs. Um, yeah, she's done loads of photo shoots there and uh, she's tagged a photographer as well, which is a nice little tip. I'll get into that after I've run through this bit. There is a potential client. I would go to send message and I would write, uh, hey, Dana, is her name Dana? Let's double check. I think her name's Dana. I would be like, hey Dana, boom, hope you're well. Uh, just reaching out to you to introduce myself and my photography work. Um, if Now this is the key thing I find in how you word this. If you're ever looking for a photographer, right? Okay, not to collab or anything like that, but to, um, for your portfolio or any uh, sponsor content, it'd be great to work together. Now, it's quite forward, but who's got time for messing around, you know? So then I would say, you can see some examples of my work. on IG or on my website, richmckeever.photo, I'll write.com just to be safe. Best rich, boom. And that's all you need to do. Now you do need to do that a lot. It's a numbers game. You need to, you need to do that until either you get blocked on Instagram or, well, yeah, just until you get blocked on Instagram. And if you don't get blocked, just keep doing it. Set aside one or two hours a day. That's all it takes. You can send a load of messages in one or two hours. Anyway, here's the little tip I was talking about earlier. She tagged the photographer. So I would go back to that photo, tag the photographer here in this outdoor shoot. Photographer, Andrew WM Photography. Now, a couple of things. Andrew WM shot with her, okay? So that might have been paid content. That shows that she's willing to pay content, but that also shows that this photographer works a lot with bloggers, potentially on paid content. So chances are this person is gonna, shot, gonna have shot a lot of bloggers, vloggers, influencers in your area. And his geo tag is Newcastle. And look at his feed. It's all bloggers and vloggers and models. So there is all your fish like fire away, DM them, model, Grant, yep, DM that guy, DM that guy, DJ, DM that guy. Like these are all people who have worked with a professional photographer and chances are they will have been willing to or will have paid the photographer in the past. Now, that is the simplest way for a photographer to get paid for the work. Now, I have shown, uh, models and bloggers and vloggers here, but you can do the same for, let me just stop my screen recording here because it's already canceled once before. Stop screen recording. And we pierced if it has saved. It has saved, oh, thank God. Right, okay, so what was I saying? So you might not be into 
shooting models, shooting portraits, it might be something else. So what you would do then is just go to like, so I'm gonna give myself an unfair advantage on this one because I'm gonna go for Inverness and um, because I'm from Inverness in Scotland, okay, which is a little town. There might not be a, an abundance of bloggers and vloggers there, but there'll be, there's, ta there's shops, there's, you know, stores, there's still businesses there. So here we go, look, Inverness, uh, Riverhouse restaurant in Inverness. They've got a picture of the menu. It's not great. None of the pictures are that great. They're trying to set up one or two pictures there that are quite nice. So there is some sort of effort going into it. They're in need of some beautiful professional pictures. Now they shoot a range of stuff. They shoot some landscapes, uh, but they also shoot some food stuff. So if you're a landscape photographer, there's your in. If you're a food photographer, there's your in. You could probably do both like you know, if you've got photography skills and an eye for composition, you could probably do both if you're, if you're needing a job pronto. So there you have it guys, the simplest, easiest way to start making money quickly as a photographer is using Instagram DMs. I hope that brought you some value and I'd love to know ways that you have made money as a photographer other than using the Instagram DM technique that I've just shown there. Please let me know in the comments down below. Thanks for checking this out. I hope it brought you some value and I'll see you on the next video guys. Cheers. Yes! Smash that, bringing people value, bringing the people some value, yeah.